Let's talk about Linux boot process. Presented by zero to pro training.com. As soon as you press the power button, after few seconds, you see a login prompt. Have you ever wondered what happens behind the scenes? Let's find out what Linux goes through from the time you press the power button until the Linux login prompt appears. The following are the six high level stages of a typical Linux boot process. By Euros. MBR. Grub. Kernel. Init. Run level. Let's talk about BIOS. BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. It performs system integrity checks, searches, loads, and executes the bootloader program. It searches for bootloader in disk drives, SD card reader, CD ROM, DVD ROM, or hard drive. You can press a key during the BIOS start to change the boot sequence. Typically the key is F12 or F2. It depends on the system. The BIOS gives a control to the bootloader program once it is detected and loaded into the memory. In short, BIOS loads and executes the MBR bootloader. Now let's talk about MBR. MBR stands for Master Boot Record. It is located in the first sector of the bootable disk. Usually Dev HDA or Dev SDA. It is less than 512 bytes in size. This has three components. Primary bootloader info. In first 446 bytes. Partition table info. In next 64 bytes. MBR validation check. In last two bytes, it contains information about GRUB. In short, MBR loads and executes the GRUB bootloader. Now let's talk about GRUB. GRUB stands for Grand Unified Bootloader. If you have multiple kernel images installed, then you can choose which one to be executed. It displays a splash screen and waits for a few seconds. If nothing is entered, it loads the default kernel image, as specified in the grub configuration file. Grub has the knowledge of the file as system. The configuration file is called grub. In short, grub just loads and executes kernel and initial RAM disk images. In it, RD stands for initial RAM disk. Initial RAM disk is used by kernel as temporary root file system until kernel is booted and the real root file system is mounted. Now let's talk about kernel. It mounts the root file system, as specified in the grub configuration file. The kernel executes the init program located in spin folder. Init program becomes the very first program to be executed. It gets process ID of 1. You can run ps command to verify. In short, kernel loads the file system and run the initial program. Let's talk about init process. Looks at the init tag file to decide the Linux run level. Run levels decide which initial programs will be loaded at startup. Following are the available run levels. Hall. Single user mode. Multi user without NFS. Full multi-user mode. Unused. X11. Regret. Let's talk about run level. System now executes the programs depending on current run level. Here are the directories for each run level. The programs are executed residing in the directory associated with current run level. Program starts with S are used during startup. S for startup. Program starts with K are used during shutdown. K for kill. There are numbers right next to S and K in the file names. These are the sequence number in which the programs should be started or killed.
For more training videos please visit ZeroToProTraining.com.